How you guys look here and welcome to another FIFA 19 footies player review and today guys I'm going to be reviewing the 91 rated footies winner SBC Neto who has uh, pretty recently just made the big transfer to Barcelona from Valencia. Uh, whether he's going to be the number one for Barcelona I wouldn't have thought so but uh, I'm sure he'll take priority over Silicon as the number two goalkeeper for Barcelona and he has obviously now been given this awesome 91 rated card that actually slots into my main team perfectly and will probably be the final addition to my main team. Uh, I can't really see me changing this main team too much now uh, between this point and the start of FIFA 20 being released, but uh, I was able to get this card for absolutely free, which is fantastic, and in the four games, obviously he didn't score me any goals or get me any assists uh, and he also did have a, a two-star weak thoughts as well as one-star skill move. Moving along to using himself, there aren't too many stats to choose from, but um, I'll just give some of them anyway. His 94 diving, his 93 reflexes, as well as his 88 positioning and 91 handling, and I did have the base Basic chemistry style applied to Neto. That is obviously the, the best chem style to have applied to a goalkeeper. In which, in the case of Neto, his diving, handling, as well as his reflexes are all maxed out at 99. And his positioning and kicking going up to 98, which is pretty awesome. And uh, he is coming in at around 50,000 coins from scratch to do this SBC. But once again, like a few of the players that reviewed over the past few days, uh, I'm sure you're going to be able to do these SBCs for even less than that amount. So, uh, for the third day in a row or something like that, now we've had an SBC for a pretty Pretty insane card for an awesome um, price tag to complete the SPC, which is really, really good. And I have to say, I liked this Neto card. He's got a good height at six foot three, which is obviously very important for a goalkeeper. And his stats are just absolutely insane. And in game, you know, I, I don't really often review goalkeepers too much. I want to, I want to do. There's often long periods between uh, reviewing one goalkeeper and usually another one, but. Uh, I've been using a lot of Courtois recently, the gold Courtois, and I loved that card. I have to say Neto is probably on a par with Courtois, and, you know, to be honest, I think Courtois off the market is a similar price to Neto, if not more expensive, obviously, with an anti rating, but uh, I don't necessarily think maybe Neto is as better as Courtois. Do I think he's as better as the team this season to Stegen? Maybe. I mean, in terms of value for the SBC, you know, I think to Stegen's like still over 100,000 coins or something like that. I mean, you can get this Neto card for pretty much next to nothing, which is insane for an anti one rating card. Is he is quite as good as to stick into using game again probably pretty similar to be quite honest but um, let's talk about some of the pros. first one will be his diving fantastic made a lot of saves uh, a few one-on-one -on -one saves as well saved from tight angles uh, and then also his reflexes were very very good you know he reacted to a lot of fast shots from close distance as well which is very important for a goalkeeper um, so you know diving and reflexes definitely been the main strong point to his car but obviously his height is very good um, for a goalkeeper you, you, you know you definitely don't want your goalkeepers to be six to be under six foot or just at six foot you know having him at six foot three is a nice tall height for goalkeeper he's also got decent positioning as well um and you know that means obviously when shots are coming in from set pieces he's often positioned himself well um his punching was also pretty decent even his kicking and and dispossession of the ball or is that the right word dispossession I don't think this position is, but when the goalkeeper's kicking the ball out of play and stuff like that as well, he'd often kick it up the field really nice and long as well, or, or, or he'd have a good throw on him as well to be able to start off attacks quickly as well, which is obviously pretty good. And, um, you know, all in all, it's a really, really good value SPC. I think if you go to La Liga team and you're looking to upgrade your goalkeeper, by all means, you should go and do this SPC because I think it's a fantastic card for a really, really good price. And uh, I just don't think you can moan whatsoever. And uh, I really am going to be interested to see what his card's going to be like in FIFA 20 because I think, you know, La Liga is definitely going to be my go-to team in FIFA 20, and I think this could be a good card to maybe pick up early on in that game, but, um, yeah, you know, once again, going back to this Neto card, really, really slow goalkeeper, I like him, I think it's fantastic value for the SBC, yes, you don't get any packs in return, but, um, you know, you're pretty much paying no coins for him in the first place, um, so, yeah, overall, it's an SBC that I would recommend doing, I think it, it is a 10 out of 10 overall in terms of value for money, it's just absolutely insane, uh, and no one can complain about it whatsoever, because at the end of the day, you're getting 91 rated card even if you're gonna you know throw him into another SBC or whatever you know that's still insane like awesome value for the card so um yeah this is an SBC particularly if you've got a La Liga team or a Brazilian team or something like that uh, it would be an SBC that I would uh, definitely recommend doing but anyway guys that is gonna start this video hopefully I will have an Alessandrini review up for you guys tomorrow as well but anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later